Okay, we're back with some more mods for the Honda Talon here, the new one we got. We got my uh, exhaust system, the slip on off my old uh, Talon. We're going to be putting it on the new one here. It's a Evolution Power Sports slip on exhaust. I don't even think they make these anymore. I got one when they first come out. I got a new cover here. I ended up getting a second cover when I got it, so I'll throw that on. Just to have a nice clean one on there for the new build. Harbor is a little attached to it. We'll get uh, set up to put the guard on and get ready to install this. We'll put a little Loctite on these bolts just so we don't have any issues in the future. holes are all slotted so you got lots of adjustment here get it situated the way you want I'm just putting everything in loose and then I'll get ready to tighten it up and line it up the way I want So we'll pull the back heat cover or heat shield off here. This here's got to come off to get the stock exhaust to pull it off. Starting that now, there's a 10 mil bolt right here. Break it loose. One on that side. One on this side here as well. I guess there's two bolts on each side. We'll set this aside because we don't need it anymore. We got these four bolts, we don't need them anymore. Set them aside. It does have a big ugly muffler on the Hondas, but we'll deal with that here in a minute. Don't forget to unplug your exhaust uh, O2 sensor. We got to remove that and install it in the new pipe. Everything being nice and new and no heat in it, it threads out no issues. Nice and easy to thread that out. 
There's two 12 millimeter bolts in here, one on each side. You gotta come out to remove the exhaust. They do have a spring on them for the keep some tension on. So you do that, you got them out. Let's set them aside. Now there's a rubber hanger here is what we gotta pull off to get this off of here. So I can use a screwdriver and slowly work it. That's what you're trying to remove there. Now we'll move around the other side. We'll do the same on this side over here. Hopefully this one comes off just as easy. And that one's off. Now we got these three. We got these three bolts here. We gotta take them off of one side. Let's take this bracket off and slide it over and drop it down to get the stock muffler away. Right Support the muffler here so it doesn't drop. There's a little bracket we gotta get off. Last bolt. And like I said, this is just hanging here. You slide it this way to pick it off that one. And that's your stock muffler off. We'll have to take this bracket off to put on the new uh, new exhaust to mount it because it uses the same hanger here. So we'll break that off next. Again, three bolts, there's our bracket. And we're done with the stock exhaust. Probably a 10, 20 pound savings right there. Now we have to put the bracket back on the stock exhaust here. So it goes on like so. I got the existing hardware right here, so we'll Remove it and bolt this back on. We got our bracket up on the red peg here. We got the bolts already started here. I'm gonna spin them in and I'm gonna tighten them up here. That's all three of them tightened up. Now we got the rubbers to put back on. Of course, we got a rubber here. It's gotta go back on. Start it on the red one, it sticks out the farthest.
I got a little trick for getting those on a little farther here. Use a socket, we'll get them, be able to dry them farther in to make sure they're all the way on there. And that's that, they're all on there, we'll go to the other side. Like I said before, don't forget to plug in our uh, O2 sensor. You'll hear it click there. It's all good. Got to tighten up these bolts here to clamp the slip on to the header. Okay, we got these two bolts here tightened up. We got this band clamp. The pipe does come apart here. We didn't bother. You can put it on with it together since it was already together. We just got this clamp here to go. I like to move this uh, nut to the inside just so it's kind of hid. You don't see it because it's not the nicest looking thing. So put that there. We'll tighten her up. We got this clamp finally done up. That finished the exhaust. Make sure your rubbers are in good here on both sides here, which they are. The exhaust looks pretty good. Nice red matches very well. We'll fire it up so you can hear it. So we got the exhaust installed. We'll fire it up so you can hear it. Don't know how good it'll show up for sound wise on the GoPro, but we'll see what it sounds like. Just a short little rip so you can hear what it sounds like. It has a nice tone. It's not too loud for my kind of riding. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.